You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Individual assistance, critical needs assistance, and clean and sanitized assistance through FEMA is now available in 12 counties. FEMA also has nine mobile registration units across eastern Kentucky, along with three disaster recovery centers in Knott, Breathitt, and Clay. FEMA assistance includes financial help for those um, that need help with home repairs, temporary lodging, and other disaster-related needs. Um, some of these assistance can include critical needs assistance, which is a $500 one-time payment to eligible households who have immediate or critical needs that have been displaced from their primary dwelling. Another one that is available is our clean and sanitize assistance, which is a $300 one-time payment for eligible households who can still live in their homes but need assistance with cleaning and sanitizing so that it is a safe place for them to stay. To apply for FEMA assistance, register online at disasterassistance.gov, through the FEMA app, or visit a mobile registration site or a disaster recovery center. So disaster recovery centers are open and their survivors can meet with FEMA representatives to help them get assisted with their registration and application process. Um, survivors can also go there to ask questions about their application status and if they have any questions concerning their applications, um, FEMA representatives will be there on site to help assist these survivors. If you have been denied for individual assistance, FEMA encourages you to appeal. So survivors that have received an email or letter from FEMA um, reporting that they are not eligible for assistance, it's really important for them to carefully read the letter as there is information in there explaining why. Sometimes it's just something as simple as you're missing a document. So it's very important that you read the letter and the reasons are in there why you may be eligible, why you might not be eligible. If you are eligible, what assistance is covered? What can you use your assistance for? Um, if you are ineligible, we recommend that you appeal to FEMA and you can send in your appeal letter and there um, you could also check in with FEMA as well and call the 800-621-3362 number if you have any questions with how to write an appeal and you could also visit the FEMA representatives at the mobile registration centers or at the disaster recovery center. For more information on disaster assistance or to learn how to apply for individual assistance visit disasterassistance.gov. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.